Hey everybody, this is 8-Bit Flashback. So what if I told you all you have to do to add 55 games to your PlayStation Classic is download one link, then add the files to your USB flash drive, then plug it into your PlayStation Classic and you're ready to go. Well, thanks to the hacking community and Arcade Man on YouTube, it is now possible to do just that and add 55 games to your PlayStation Classic and it's very easy to do. And just to let everyone know, anytime you mod or hack your console, you risk the chance of breaking your console, so please proceed at your own risk. So the first thing you want to do is head over to Arcade Man's video on YouTube and download the link in the video description. And there will actually be two different links, one turret and one mega link. For that turret link, I wasn't having much luck, and it was saying to be done in about 42 weeks, which wasn't going to be an option for me. But maybe it's faster now. But what did work for me was the mega link. And the download is fairly large, it'll be about 17 and a half gigabytes, and it will be in an archive zip format. And when the files are extracted, it becomes about 30 gigabytes in size. And just for your information, a lot of 32 gigabyte flash drives out there have a capacity that's actually less than 30 gigabytes. So you wanna make sure what that capacity is before you try to install all these files. Once you get that file downloaded, you wanna open up that archive, and inside there will be a 32 gigabyte folder. And then inside there is gonna be all the files that we need to transfer to a USB flash drive or hard drive. And we need to format that at FAT32 and label it Sony in all capital letters. Once that's done, you just drag all the files to the root of the flash drive and it's ready to go. And like I said, this is about 30 gigabytes in size once it's extracted. So it will take quite a while to transfer those files over to a USB flash drive or hard drive. And as you can see here, I've already transferred all the folders over to my USB flash drive and it took about an hour to do because it's so big. It ended up being about 29.9 gigabytes. So now that USB flash drive is actually ready to go. We don't have to do anything else. We can just go plug this into our PlayStation Classic and we're good to go. But we do have the option to change a couple things if you want to. If you noticed in the beginning of the video, it was using a custom theme. So if you want to get rid of that theme, you can delete the theme folder right here, or you can just create a new folder and hide that theme inside there. And you can use that theme at a later date. But like I said, this is not necessary. We can just use it the way it is with the custom theme. So my USB flash drive is already test out. So what we need to do now is go to the PlayStation Classic, unplug the power, plug in the USB flash drive and the second player port, then plug the power back in, power it up, and it should work. And if it doesn't work the first try, just go ahead and power it off and try again. And if it still doesn't work, try a different USB flash drive or hard drive and make sure it's USB 2.0. And the first time I tried this out, it worked no problem. And this build also includes RetroArch, so if you want to try that out, you can, but there's no games included besides the PlayStation 1 games. So the first thing you'll notice when you boot it up is it's gonna be in a different language, but that is a very simple fix. We're just gonna to go to the settings, then scroll down to language right here, and then select the appropriate language. And of course, mine's gonna be English, so I'll select that, and now everything's just like it should be. And as you can see here, we got all kinds of custom stuff happening here. We got a custom theme, we got custom sounds, custom icons, custom text, and I believe this is a Silent Hill theme. And this is just the beginning of builds like these. And as a matter of fact, while making this video, I think another one is already available. I think Arcade Man has another one just posted that is 64 gigabytes. So be sure to check out his channel if you wanna learn more about that one. So this build is using the latest Blame Sync at the moment, which is 0.4.1. And what's nice about this setup is all the images are already here along with the games. So all the hard work is already done. If you've used Blame Sync, then you know it's kind of a pain to configure and set up all the games. So having these 55 games ready to go is a huge plus. And I do like this custom thing that he's using, but I'd say the only thing I don't like about it is every time you go to load a game, it makes a screaming noise. And that kind of gets old after a while, but I can deal with it. And I do want to mention that I did read some notes in the video description for Arcade Man's videos that these builds were compiled together by an anonymous user. So I'm not sure who did that, but props goes to him, whoever he is, or her. And with this setup, if you want to access the emulator settings, it's easy to do. You just push select and triangle at the same time, and that'll bring up the special emulator menu. So for everyone out there that might be unhappy with their current PlayStation Classic setup, like myself, then this is a great alternative where we can add 55 games and they're ready to go, which makes that PlayStation Classic a whole lot better. And of course, you should only download and try this if you own the original 55 games, because piracy is wrong. <laughs> okay, it's time for me to go, but if you want to stick around, you can, because I will be showing gameplay from various different games that's included in this build. And have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time.
NYPD. Happy hey, trail. This isn't even my jurisdiction. Get away. the wall? Don't make me laugh! This is not my lucky day. I got a headache. Thank <laughs> you. 